Hey, what's up guys? This is Ali from isocialu.com and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to talk about how to upload videos to Instagram directly from your PC or MacBook. And by the way, thank you so much PA Media TV for submitting this question. Now, before we jump into the video, two things I want to point out or mention. First, a big shout out to Skillshare. So Skillshare is the sponsor of this video. And I want to quickly tell you, they have over 25,000 classes in design, business technology, film, video, entrepreneurship, writing, you name it. So if you're serious about growing your online business, make sure you subscribe or check out Skillshare. You get two free months because they are the sponsor of this channel. So there is a link below in the description of this video. Click on that link and again, get two free months on Skillshare. All right, and then the second thing I wanna mention before we jump into the demo, a quick reminder, if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you do subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notifications of all of my future videos. All right, now let's jump into this video, how to upload videos to Instagram directly from your PC or MacBook. And I'm not gonna show you one tool, I'll show you two tools and they're both, actually one of them is free, the other one is a freemium, so it's almost free. The first tool I wanna show you, <clears throat> it's actually Instagram's official tool or app or program you can call it. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna search for Facebook Creator Studio. So in your Google search for Facebook Creator Studio, not many people use this. It's a really cool side of Facebook, especially if you manage um, pages or Instagram accounts. This is a really cool tool that you should know. So you're gonna see something like this. It's a creator studio, it's Facebook's own tool, so we're not using any third-party tools. And <clears throat> on top, you're gonna see two options, Facebook, and then you also see Instagram. So I'm gonna click on Instagram, and you will see, by the way, if you go there for the first time, it's gonna give you an option to connect your Instagram account. So for example, in my case, I have several accounts connected here. I can, if I want, I can add, click on add Instagram account and then go through these steps. Just put your Instagram username and password and it, it will connect to your Instagram account to your Facebook Creator Studio. Now, this is by Facebook. So you all obviously know it's approved, it's good to go. You're not gonna get into any trouble for using this. Really cool thing about this tool is the Creator Studio, you can upload videos directly to Instagram. You can also upload images if you want. So let me do a quick demo. By the way, before we do that, so Instagram accounts, you can add accounts here. If you wanna check the insights, so let's say I wanna check insights on my different accounts, I can look at all of this data. By the way, all of this data used to be available only in the mobile app or uh, Instagram app, but now using the Creator Studio, you have access to all of this data. So you can look at the your audience, your followers, where are your followers from? For example, this, this client account, our target audience is United States, so we're getting a lot of people from United States, that's good. And then if you go to content library, here is all the content that we have posted on these accounts. Now, let's jump into the demo and let me show you how to upload video to your Instagram from your PC or MacBook. You can use this on your PC or your MacBook. All you need is uh, the browser. All right, so I'm gonna click on create post and then you see they have two options. So you can create a post for your Instagram feed or you can create a post for your IGTV. So let's do in Instagram feed. And then I have several accounts connected. You may only have one, so I'm gonna just select one. And now, here is where you create your post. So I'm gonna click on add content, and then, by the way, you can also use content from your Facebook page. If you have your Facebook page and Instagram accounts connected, or you can upload a file. So let's go and upload a video file. And I'm just gonna pick something and let's just say this is so true all 
right? I also want to add some hashtags. So let me go to my hashtag directory. So you see I've done a lot of hashtag research and I've saved a lot of hashtags for future use. So I'm going to come back here and just say, let's put some hashtags here. And then I want to add location. So let's do Dallas, Texas. So you see, you can do everything pretty much that you are able to do on mobile phone. And then if you also wanted to post this to your Facebook page, you could do that. I'm not going to worry about that right now. And then if you look here on this side, so I can publish this, I can also schedule this if I want. But in the, for the purpose of this demo, I'm, let's just hit publish. And it's just going to say your post is publishing to Instagram. Usually, depending on your internet speed, it takes a few seconds. I think we're done. Let me open the Instagram. And look at this. So here is the video that we posted using Facebook Creator Studio or Facebook Instagram Studio, you can call it. It's Facebook's own product. So this is how you can upload videos. You can also schedule videos in advance if you have a calendar and you want to post based on your calendar. So that was tool number one, totally free. You don't have to pay anything. It's actually Facebook's own product. So, you know, it's legit. Now, <clears throat> the second tool I want to show you, actually, I love this tool too. It's called Flume app. And by the way, I am, I'm a, one of the affiliates for this product. I love Flume app. It's one of my favorite tools. And there is going to be a link in the description below if you want to check this out. This is a freemium product, which means you can use it for free. But then if you want to use it on multiple accounts, then you can upgrade to the Flume Pro. And I believe there's only, the good thing about this is you only pay once. So you're not paying multiple times. There's no mul multiple uh, subscriptions. So you only have to pay, I believe it was a, $10 or $20? I can't remember and I can't find it anymore. Let's see. Maybe you have to send them a message. But anyways, let's go back. I'm going to go back right here. Let's actually look at the price. So here you go. We got the answer. So Pro license costs twenty dollars and one time. So the good thing about Flume is, let's go back to the home page. If you want to use it on one account, you can use it for free. You can upload your images or you can upload your videos for free. But if you want to manage multiple accounts, which is for me and uh, you know agency owners, if you work with multiple clients or maybe you have multiple Instagram accounts, hobby account, business account, personal account, then this is a really good tool. All right, let's look at some features. So it's only for Mac. So you cannot use this, unfortunately, on PC. If you want to publish from PC, then I believe the Creator Studio might be the best option. It's free. Now, Flume app is only for Mac. And let me quickly show you a couple of features. So you'll have <clears throat> access to upload. You can upload photos, videos. You can manage multiple accounts, which is why I use this. Uh, you can look at insights promotion, you can direct message, activity, photo focus, so anything you can imagine. Well, there's one thing I wish they had, but they don't, and maybe it's coming in the future uh, update. It's the upload to the Instagram stories. They don't have that yet. All right, so enough about the what the, the tool is. Again, the link is going to be in the description. If you want to check it out, I, I am one of their affiliates, and if you decide to upgrade to the pro, I will get some kickback. But let me show you what this looks like. So here is the Flume app experience, right? It's really, really interesting. I can, you can add more accounts. If you, I go to accounts, I can add an account. Simple, here's the, all the accounts I have so far. I can click on plus and add the accounts. And then if I wanna switch between different accounts, I can do that, super, super easy. Now. Why do I like this a lot? So one, you know, switching between accounts and managing multiple clients is super easy. 
The second reason is imagine if you have a repost account. Well, before I talk about the repost account, I can I want to show you how uploading videos is super easy. So for we already did this, but um, just for the sake of demo, I'm going to click on this button and then I can drag photo or video or I can just click here and let's go back. I want to find the same video. There you go. And it's going to create the preview. Ooh, it's taking some time. Let's see, was my video longer than 60 seconds? Sometime it takes. Let's go check it out. Size is not that big, so let's actually go back. There you go. It just, maybe my internet is super slow today. <laughs> All right, so once you have the preview, you can click on this, add locations, you can write captions, add your hashtags. Another cool thing here is you can do, if you wanna create a carousel, you can do that. So that's something that you don't have with the Creator Studio yet. You can also do some cropping. So if I wanna, uh, there's a lot of, if you wanna trim the video, you know, you have that option. So there you go, you can trim. And there's so many other options. You can, uh, if you wanna pick a different thumbnail, you can do that as well. So that, those are some additional options with the Flume app. Now, and then you can add location tag, hashtag, and then post it, it'll go right to your account. I won't do it right now, because we already posted this video. But I wanna do show you something, let's discard, why I love this uh, Flume app. A lot of people on Instagram have repost accounts, which means they share content or curate content on a specific niche from different pages. So if you do that, maybe if you have a page in fitness, travel, food, and you post viral content from other pages, this is a really good tool, strongly recommend. So <clears throat> let me do a quick demo. So let's say I wanna share something from one of the, the, the pages. All right, so um, I can you can search for the accounts where you want to curate or share content from so I've done some searches before so let's actually pick this right here and You can share or reshare images or videos anything that you like for example, let's say I want to reshare this video Or repost this video all you have to do this. So now check this out. This is super simple and what I love about flu map so I'm gonna right click and then go to repost video and that's it so it's gonna do some magic bring the video back here uh, in this new window so this is kind of like a compose window and if you scroll down so here's a repost tag the credit to the original creator and also it brought their caption and I believe hashtags too Obviously you can use your own hashtags, your own caption, uh, but I would suggest that if you're reposting, then make sure you doing the credit back to the original creator. So this is a super simple, and then you know once you're happy with everything, you can post and it will go to your profile. So that's something, let's discard and I wanna go back. That's one of the things I love about Flume app. If you have a repost account, if you curate or share content from other viral pages to create your viral meme page or viral uh, sub niche page, then Flume app is a no brainer. It's a really, really powerful tool. You can post videos, you can post images, you can in, in matter of seconds repost or reshare content, images and videos from other pages as well. So that's it guys, two tools that we talked about. Number one was the Facebook Creator Studio to upload videos to Instagram. And number two was Flume app that you can download. And unfortunately, it's only for Mac. It's not for PC. Now, if you have any questions, leave me in the comments below. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube, my YouTube channel, and hit the bell icon 
So that way you get notifications of all of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.